previously on the NoVP channel. Hello there, my sister! And coming up... It literally is the colour of baby poo. Anemic. It smells of shit. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Start the shit show. That was not hard enough. I'm wearing gloves, you should do it. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to apologise. What? I'm sorry. But what? I look fucking great. <laughs> Yeah. You pass this bitch in like a boardroom. A boardroom. A boardroom. Boardroom. What's it? We've never been in a... Have you ever been in a boardroom? Uh... And neither will we ever be in a boardroom. <laughs> What's a boardroom? What's the board? Where the CEO tells her board of directors what to do. That's me, actually. Is it? And I'm glad you can't see the lower half because the bottom of this dress is so ugly. <laughs> Yes, hello, yes. <laughs> Welcome to this Novimpia treat. It's a video for the ages. For the ages? People say that. I don't know if that's true. For the ages. We're doing a, another snack box unboxing, taste testing video, which I'm always like really happy about because I'm usually, it takes us so long to get ready. I'm usually like hankering for a snack and I'm so ready for a snack. And In fact, I, I would like a snack. snack. Jordan almonds. I've purchased nails for this dress and they're gorgeous, aren't they? Those purple ones. Yes. But I thought that would be pointless. Yes, I have not put nails on either. Because we're going to be opening shit. And yes. packaging from other countries, it has proven to be very difficult to open. So uh -huh. we're going today to Belgium, Belgique. My upper lip is so clammy. You like better have fan. brought a tissue or some fucking thing. This will do. In here. Oh yeah, that's You're good. not going to wipe your nose with that. No, it's just for a fan. <laughs> We've been sent a box of Belgian snacks. That's gorgeous. Keep doing. That's gonna sound horrible in the microphone. Look at my hair. Would you cooperate for one second? I am cooperating. Get out the snacks. <laughs> you know, people on the Twitch stream yesterday. Yeah. What's that name drop in a Twitch stream? See, no, it's unusual. Yeah, unusual. Oh, it's or genuinely or quite stressful. Genuinely quite stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Thought that I was like a diva because I asked you for a glass of squash. Give me a snack. Bitch. Well, hang on a second. Is there a letter saying who who this is? I think this, this is, is it. Patron that sent us this. Very, oh, oh, open, open me, first. me first. There we go. Okay, great. <sighs> Look at the back. It's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> but this is a very, very talented individual who's actually done some art for us before. Hello, it says on it. And there's a cactus there. a cactus. There. cactus. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's long. It says... Dear Novimpia, I want to show my appreciation for you by sending you a little love package from Belgium. Inside the box you will find a reflection of typical Belgian treats with a little menu where my drag persona, Sugar Dust Bum Fairy. Does that say Bum Fairy? Sugar Dust Bum Fairy. I think it's The day you say Sugar I Dust Bum... I think it says Sugar Dust Bum Fairy. No, you're so stupid. It says Sugar Dust Bum Journey. What's a bum... No. It says Bum Fairy. I think this says Bum Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Who calls himself Sugar Dust Bum Fairy? What's that? And the Oscar goes to Sugar Dust Bum Fairy. <laughs> A little menu where my drag persona, Sugar Dust Bum Fairy, will give you a bit of history regarding the different snacks. You'll also find an envelope with some handmade gifts. That wasn't inverted commas, it's like oh. little dashes around it. Handmade. And never before seen art print. Once again, I want to give my thanks. I know I can always turn to your channel if I'm feeling down. My Patreon pledge is still the best purchase I've made since Corona. Anyway, I'll shut up now and let you enjoy your treats. Much love, Les Gas. They can turn to us. Like a what? So this says, just a little summon summon for you. Hope you like it. Much lovely gas. Oh, thanks. I'll open this one. You got the card. Sucks to be you. I don't look gas, but I don't want it. Mic. I don't want step seat steps. Oh my god! CDs. What I don't want that. Step the step C D steps. They are, but why are why, they in like cardboard? Why does steps fucking ruin my life? Every day I am I am exposed. And I'm hoping it's not gonna end in tragedy! Right, she's away. 
Oh, oh! Is this how they were released in Belgium? They That's were released so in fun! Some sort of institution they were. Oh, was the last thing oh. on my mind. Oh my god, I've just seen this. Okay, thank you very much, Legasp, for sending us those CDs. They're I'm going really excited about the Steps Right CDs. in the bin, aren't they, Nova? No. Right in the bin. That's so cute. So Legasp, and we're gonna put up Legasp's uh, information. You need to check them out because the art that Legasp does is so gorgeous. We should show it to them. So being so selfish. Okay, so here it is. Uh, that looks that looks good. Just yeah. Now. The style was yes. was done for our what was it? Legendary creature. We did stickers. Stickers. And stuff, yes. yes. And also, I think we've got a face mask with a little design that they gasped did for us as well. That's so good. I look so great. That outfit looks better in this picture than it does in real life. The outfit has got a huge tear in the back because it's not stretch material, and I'm a heifer. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honey. You've got a big storm coming. What's on the menu? You've got a big storm coming. There's a menu. Is that supposed to be autumn? Why does that look like autumn? <laughs> it does look like autumn. She'd never look that good though. Legasp has done as a whole fucking menu. Look at this, how gorgeous is this? Can you see that? What do you know about Belgium, Nova? Belgium. Um. Who I personally believe that US Americans. And it's between France and Germany. It's betwixt. Oh, I've been there. So have I. I, I went to Wipers. I don't know where I went. Um, I went to Wipers. It's that real place? Yes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly though. Ypres. It's spelled Wipers. Who's from Belgium? <laughs> I, I don't really know anything person. about Belgium. Famous persons from from Belgium. What, what, I want to eat something. We have to, this is a, a tiny bit here, just I don't so know. small. I don't know anything about Belgium. Belgium is famous for chocolate. I'll tell you who's from Belgium. Renee Magritte. I just superimposed something, I looked it up. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Bruges is, that's a place in Belgium, Bruges is. Go on then. Okay, the first one is Cote d'Or Mig Mignonette. The first thing you think about when you hear the word Belgium, well, we didn't think of anything, did we? <laughs> How rude. It's all coming out now. The Brussels convention is there, and they probably sit in a boardroom, is of course our Belgian chocolate. The reason why our chocolate is one of, if not the best chocolate in the world, it's sure as shit not in the States. I personally believe. Oh. The rule, it has to have 100% cacao butter and no other oils Gosh. or butters. Can you, what do we think? Mignon, mignonette. mignonette. They're small chocolate tablets by the oh! company Cote d'Or. That, I'll tell you what this is. What a beautiful presentation. When people stay, these are going on pillows. What lovely presentation. What? Okay. I've got little elephants on them. This is a large piece. I'm not eating all of it. Mm. I like Cadbury's, which is not good chocolate, is it? Mm. It's good because it's milk chocolate, but it has the cocoa flavor of dark chocolate without the bitterness. Mm. Only the crumbliest, flakiest chocolate. I'm not gonna eat my tea. That's delicious. Really good. That's fucking great. Is there other chocolate stuff in there? There's a menu, isn't there? Gillian? We have Gillian. Fuck off! Gillian? McKay! Is it Gillian? You know, Gillian. Oh yeah. I think we have, I think we get that. You can buy that in Tesco's. It's all coming out now. We turn chocolate into many different treats, such as these iconic chocolates, these seafood shaped treats created in the 60s by Gillian as a way to sell chocolate souvenirs at the Belgian coast. But we get these. Oh my God, I didn't know these were, but these are fucking great though, these aren't they? These are really good. We need to buy some more Do of these. Do you know what these remind me of? You know, you can also get chocolibnitz. No. Chocolibnitz. They're those big biscuits and you get them in Aldi and it's like a slab of chocolate with biscuit underneath. Choco Leibniz. Oh yes. But it's like you forget they exist and then all of a sudden you're like, um, oh, I can't pick it up. They're very sort of, they're very, Hefty. they're a bit slimy. Mmm. Mm-hmm, honeybee. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Every time you buy Gylian chocolates, you are supporting Project Seahorse, an international marine conservation organization. This product is from sustainably managed forests and controlled sources. I really just had a moment there. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. I'm oh, really good. There's no more room on my I'm hips. I'm wearing lip gloss, so apologies to how the rim of this glass is going to look at the end of this video. L listen, little mama, we don't want to know about your bum hole. No personally curated box would be complete without my favourite personal suite, the Belgian waffle. Belgian From waffle. the city of Liege or Lewick. Oh. These waffles are traditionally... No, um, this was right. Oh, I think you're supposed to heat them, but I feel I think we can eat. I... Oh my god. A Belgian waffle. Why do you keep saying Belgian waffle? Because that's what it fucking is. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, it's not Turkish baklava. It's a Belgian waffle, no yeah. Oh, it's, it's really good. It feels like that it's got like the sensual. crunch or like the sugar inside. That mm. is delicious. I mean, not really, but that would benefit from being heated up. It's a little bit crumbly as is. Could be a bit gooier. I really think in Belgium, they know what they're doing. What the fuck do we have that's like, you can't, I mean, maybe you can buy a waffle here. Can you get a waffle here? I bet like Lidl or Audi would have. Well, but like, we just don't have anything, do we? People that do things real good. Real good crisps. Crisp. Everyone does good crisps. Crisps are just good. That was the last thing on my mind. Ah, ah, ah. Do you want to know what the, the last thing on my mind is? Marriage. I thought the instrumental on that. Yeah, but that's only for people who can sing, so I wouldn't bother. Didn't stop them. <laughs> And let's hope today it won't be a tragedy. Oh, oh. Lotus Biscoff. That that's we get those. That'd be these. But we I, I wonder, don't, I've never seen oh, them. Oh, they're this humongous. Big. And there's that's Father Christmas, isn't it? Mmm. Is oh, that Father Christmas? Broken. So we get Lotus Biscoff here. Mm -hmm. And it's not a huge deal, but in Scotland, whenever we go and see your parents, it's fucking everywhere. They love because Biscoff. Because it's vegan. Oh. How do you describe it? It's almost like a grain cracker. How do you cracker. describe a feeling? Sex exercise, sex exercise, sex exercise! Sex exercise, sex exercise! Sex exercise, sex exercise! Remember sex exercise? Sex exercise, sex exercise! It pairs really nicely with coffee. You should meet up it with It goes so Kyla well Minogue with coffee. You become best friends with Kylie Minogue and release a single with Kylie Minogue. And you should get together and become best friends with Kylie Minogue and release a single with Kylie Minogue. <laughs> I feel like we probably can't explain what that joke is, but Charmaine is somewhere crying. <laughs> <laughs> when um, my father used to have a salon down here and I worked with him, we used to serve the tea and coffee with a mini Biscoff biscuit on the side. Say mini. <laughs> Cookies. Butter crisps. Now these to me look a bit, oh, they're, they're not street waffle. No. Are you showing all this stuff off? Yes. Okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm running the show here. So Butter your crisps. In your box, you'll find two dual Destrooper cookie boxes. Typical products from West Flanders. Nothing at all. The West region on the Flemish side. I've been to Flanders. But I've never been to you. What was that? I don't know, it's a song, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is. It is. I've never, I've been to Flanders, but I've never been to you. What are you talking about? I've never been to you. It's a song. I've never. These look like um, ice cream wafers. And I've seen something that a woman is supposed to see. I've been to Flanders. But I've never been to you. You want to share one? Oh, that's a really positive crack. And he would always give me the bigger half. Much too good for children. Mm hmm. A really, really good, really sweet ice cream wafer. Very, it's good. Very buttery. Yeah, yeah, it's good in it. No, I'm thinking of a buttery, flaky, crisp. <laughs> Baked on a buttery, uh, crispy crust. In my memory of having like an ice cream, a bowl of ice cream, which I haven't eaten a bowl of ice cream since I was about six. It's not the same because like ice cream wafers normally like they go soggy and they're like hard so bland. I, I always yeah. used to get quite excited about the wafer and then you eat it and you're like, this is fucking paper, mm. but these, Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> Belgium.
Belgium. Mm hmm. The what? <laughs> no. No. These are distraction tactics. Go try, Mom. Fucking drugs. Not much gets past you, does it? Jesus. Uh, this is all sweet, though. Nothing savory, is it? I'm going to pass out from all the sugar. Sweet Cubadons. Let's step away from baked goods and chocolates and take a look at some actual sweets. Cubadons are oh. raspberry flavoured sweets filled with a liquid syrup like filling. They don't look good. It looks so like Cubadon is a typical cone shaped Belgian candy. Its exterior is slightly firm oh, and his heart is very smooth. They look like the cone. I bet these are really good. They look like the cone. Stop saying the cone. Have the you cone shown of what? have you shown this yes. off? The cone. What are you talking about? You remember like Nicki Minaj come on a cone? You remember the cone? I remember that song. You remember the cone? What do you mean I remember the cone? No. There was never a video for that song. People remember the the cone. I'm f <laughs> glad there wasn't a video! A cone. You sit on it. It's I, like a pink cone. You I sit don't on know it. what you're talking about. It was a lady's oh. extramarital age. I've never heard that before. Is that what that song's about? Come on a cone. Come on a come on a come on a cone. It was the cone. They look intriguing. This is the strangest thing I've ever they seen. They look like they're gonna be a bit like jelly babies. You know, like they've got like a crack to they them before this. They look much in the more vibrant on the outside of the box, and here they are sort of I'm a bit just dull looking. The entire thing in my mouth. Are you? Are they jelly babies? Yeah. Jelly babies give me the runs. Mmm. But jelly babies. It's artificial raspberry flavour. You might not like it. It's a bit of squash. I think they're delightful. I taste like ice lollies. Mm. I'm just putting them all in their little in their little tray. That's horrible. Oh, I really like them. It's like the sweetest, most artificial tasting. It's got this really thick. It's very artificial tasting, but. It's like a, a jelly baby on steroids. It's awful. Yeah, like if a jelly baby had like a soft center. Babalutton. <laughs> created by Mother Babaluta. They're caramel sweets created by mixing a brown sugar syrup called Kanji Stroop from the polder, which is a low-laying region by the Belgian coast. So I feel like this is gonna be a bit like fudge. It looks like fudge. Originally created for the fishermen to help against the salty sea air. If you're fond of sand dunes and salty air, quaint little villages here and there. What is this? If you're fond of sand dunes and salty air. What is that? You didn't know what a cone was. No. Are you all right? Oh, yes. These look super traditional because it's a waxy paper. It's not like super colorful. It's just white and blue. Oh, it's a, it literally is the color of baby poo. Anemic. It smells of shit. It's quite soft though. Oh, surprising. Oh my God. <gasps> oh no. Oh. Oh no, I don't like, I don't oh, no, like it. Oh no, it tastes like poo poo. <laughs> I don't oh, like it. Oh, mum. That's what it is. Actual shit. Why is, what is it like that? that? It tastes like cauliflower. That's not romantic! I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. Belgium, you fucking pigs. Oh, it tastes like cauliflower and a, and a wet wipe and a bum. It tastes like Asian cooking. Oh, God. How cruel. It looks so... What is that flavour? And here was me saying, ah, oh, it'll, it'll be delicious because it's all traditional. Yeah, they're dirty. I, I feel like it's a familiar flavour, <sighs> but I can't... Have you ever got poo in your mouth? <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm It's all stuck in my teeth. Jesus Christ! I mean, of course, I actually, I mean, of course it. Listen, they gasp. Thin ice, Sharon. Oh, I dropped the menu. Okay, Napoleon Bon Bon. Really aggressive. That's These it. candies is a hard candy filled with either a sweet or sour. Oh my God, hang on a second. It's a sour candy bon no. bon, oh. bon, 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 bon. Are you gonna behave? Fuck, that looks good. <laughs> Wait, now listen to this. It's either a sweet or sour powder created in the city of Antwerp in 1912. Ah, oh, Titanic. 
Each bonbon's supposed to last six minutes. The flavours vary between sweet and sour. Does it say which one's are sweet and which one's are sour? Because I don't want a sour one. No. Just my pissing luck. I want to pick a green one because I quite like a sour one. I'll go with orange because that seems fairly safe, I suppose. Does it? I don't know. It looks like a little butt. You're a little butt. I love a blood orange. It's sweet. Apple. Tastes a lot like apple. That's a very, very genuine flavour. Snowsberry. Who ever heard of Snowsberry? Don't care how I it, it tastes like fresh apple. Mine is orange. <laughs> is it apple? Now it's starting to taste like kiwi. So you're a liar. Boo -boo. It's nice, but I hate this. Like, I just want it gone out of my mouth. I can't stand having shit in my Mine mouth. Mine was right. sweet on the outside, but like sour in the middle. It's just a boiled sweet, like. Get out, for fuck's sake. I'm not get joking you, please, oh, no, no, no. let's get, get out. That's really good. I got out just in time. I'm not a huge fan of, of hard sweets like that. A lollipop? Yes, because you can literally conveniently take it out. The last one, it says rude, rude hoofed caramella mocatine. It says do not bite. For fuck's sake, I'm not joking you. Don't bite into that. These confectionery coffee flavour. Coffee flavoured candies were made by Rude Hooft in 1934 in Antwerp. Oh, it's also named Arabierkies, which translates to Arabians by the locals, because there's a picture of an Arabian man on for no reason. Say bon. It's delicious. Say bon. Say bon. bon. I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't. How? Strange. It's a the, like, little... Look at his little face on there. He's an attractive man. They're like the um, they're like treats in Pokemon Arceus. If Pelt. I put this in oh, no. Bart's litter tray, you would not think twice. Ender, what? I mean, we drink a lot of coffee, but coffee flavored stuff can be tricky. Mm. No. I no, I'm done. I don't with like it. it. It tastes too like artificial. It tastes like instant freeze dried coffee. I mean, I who would want that for six minutes? That's like water torture. Well, quick sticks. Do you want some gooseberry and cinnamon yogurt? Out of date low fat yogurt can be just as dangerous as ordinary yogurt that fat people eat. What's this one? An almond thin. Jules de Strooper almond thin. So we had something else. With these, we had these, like the same. I was considering changing my name to Almond Thin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so these were butter crisps, and they were really good. And these are Almond Thins. They were the way the wafers, weren't they? Mm. These look like they they could be a savoury almost, though, from the from the look They're of them. They're a bit them. grey, aren't they? They're a bit grey, almost like a Rivita. Rivita. You don't like Rivita. I like Rivita. Oh, it's in a. They're very small. Oh, it's a very different packaging. Oh, they look like slices of page. Page. <laughs> That's a little thin slice of pate. Hmm. Oh, these are fucking great. They're so No, thin. but you're gonna love that. You're gonna poo your pants. Hmm. Oh no, after a while it's not the same. It starts to go it a bit- like cereal. It starts to go a bit bum in the end. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> that's I like, still like it. That's like hearing a song. And you're like, oh my god, you're fucking, oh no, I didn't quite go where I wanted it to. And they just shoved a wrap in the middle. I don't like it. We've also been where do you given. throw my voice about? Okay, is this like, a, is this like stickers or something? What's this? My huge fucking shoulder. <laughs> oh, what's this? Blake Asp is a very, very talented illustrator. So we have <gasps> some stickers of us and Britney Spears. The change, the passion. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, so look cute. at these. They're so cute. We'll take a picture of these and show you them, but they're super precious. That's me. And there's you, but look at this. It's you on a key ring. Oh my gosh, how cute. If this one is not me on a key ring, I'm going to be furious with you. Can you imagine if it's you again on a key ring? How have you made this? <gasps> me, me, what? That's so cute. Me! No. Thank you, Lake Gas, for this whole package presentation. It was beautiful. All sweet though, no savoury. No savoury, but all what I will say no is. Poo. I... 
I will say that this, I think, is largely such excellent shit that I imagine will last a long time as well. So we won't have that kind of like fear of shit. We got to give this to neighbours and like eat it all. You can have those though. I've grown have another one of these. I like these. I can't believe you're having another one. You're a pig. Like no one's into jelly. Who's into jelly babies? I love jelly babies, but they're not vegan. Are these? Mm -hmm. It's what is it made with here? It says cow hoof. Thank you, Lake Asp. Um, check out Lake Asp's Instagram as well. There's some great shit on there. Mm. And um, this was very, very excellent, excellent show. Excellent. There's going to probably be a message afterwards about joining the Patron if you'd like to head on over there and get into the Novimpia cult lifestyle. Egg to bacon. What you gonna do with all that ash? Some of those guys get birthday shout outs. Have you got, where's my phone? <sighs> do you reckon the Steps Fan Club PO box is still taking um, mail? Ah, oh, for February 21st. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. Why yeah. are you looking at me? Because I was like, it's not even February. It is. It's, just, it's nearly March. April's always also nearly March. For February 21st, happy birthday to David Coppang. Over. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You could join in. Uh, and then for Megan, for February 22nd, happy birthday to you as well. Happy birthday, adult. Megan. Charlotte, February 23rd, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. And Richard for the following day, February 24th. Oh. oh, as well as Daniel. You both have birthdays on the 24th. Happy and it birthday. simply screams, Elliot, Richards. What? Nothing. I, I'll tell you later on. Don't you think that secular humanism is yummy? And then for Michael, for February 25th, happy birthday to all of you. Thank you so much for being patrons of the Novimpia Cult lifestyle. We're also on Twitch. Yes. Yeah, and if you come over and follow us on Twitch, you can see gems like this. For this recipe, you will need me and my magic pussy. They bombarded me with, with shit. There's, you pre yeah. I don't, I'm old, so I don't understand it, half of it. Mm. And people are sent like, What's the one that kept, Lisa Scott Lee just kept fi- See, I can't fucking escape the woman. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, social medal will be on the screen. A social me medal? Because this is what the rebirth. Why don't you come up here and see me up here sometime? <laughs> it is in keeping with my very, very attractive lifestyle as an attractive woman. No. And that's just, I'm just that sort now. What's happening? <laughs> but I remember last time. I'd forgotten that. Yes, I remember. Yes, I'm going to give Psychic readings over Facebook because I'm just that sort now. No, it's the rebirth of data. No, are we have I'm gonna I'd like pizza. We can get pizza I'm well excited for pizza. But are you gonna no you won't get from where I get from. Where are you getting from? Ploppy goo goo Do you not want to explore? Oh, I'll have a look because last time I said oh I'll have a look and see if they do vegetarian toppings again and you were like yes, okay And then he ordered without me and I was like oh well also, wouldn't mind maybe looking at Domino's. You hate Domino's. It was really good the last two times we had it. All right. We'll have a look. We'll discuss. We should do a video where we eat pizza. I've already cut. I've already cut by this point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And a bienvenue to our brand new patrons, Cindy, Kieran Ranger, Jimmy Foster, Lesbian Miss Piggy, Gia Rose Scrinchy, M Batch, Jorge, Horny Sister, Mir and Wee J. They're so Nova, thin. you're gonna love that. You're gonna poo your pants. Mmm. Oh no, after a while it's not the same. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.